Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and today I'm going to give you a garden update. This is about July, mid-July, and we got a lot of stuff happening, a lot of things going on. We are also going to be giving a review on a little cordless vacuum and um, I'm gonna use it in a little bit of an unconventional way. I did see that Angela over at the Inquisitive Farm Wife used hers to clean out the back of her freeze dryer and I think that that is absolutely fantastic. Um, but I haven't had my freeze dryer quite that long yet to need to do that, but this tool would be awesome for that. And so I'm gonna show you how I'm going to use it. Like I said, it's a little bit unconventional, but it gets the job done. So. Let me show you what we got going on in the garden. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is the zucchini plants. These have now started to give us some zucchinis. Um, we've gotten quite a few off of this bad boy already. So there's one down in there. Um, they look really good. We have been giving them nutrients. You can see there's one right there. That one needs to be picked today. Another one going. So these are all looking really, really well. I'm excited for those. And then the sunflowers on this side didn't really do too well because this is some bad soil over here, but it looks like the zucchini didn't care about that part. I have a couple of pole beans right here. This is my first time doing pole beans. Um, honestly, I planted a whole bunch of green beans, a variety of them, and only three plants came up. Two of them were this kind, and then one was the Blue Lake Bush beans. Um, and they are container variety, so I just left them in their containers with good soil. You can see our corn is looking great. Um, all of this corn, if you guys remember, we actually did not plant this corn. It came up by itself and then we just transferred it over to here. Um, and I had planted a couple more rows, but none of that came up. And by the time I should have replanted it, I didn't, so. Ooh, there's a bug on me. Um, so you can see we've got some Silky starting here on pretty much every plant. So that's been good. And Luke's been going around and giving these a little shake so that way we can help pollinate everything. All right, so Mr. Budget Pepper has came out and he's gonna hold the camera so we can walk through the rest of the garden. So hello, Mr. Budget Pepper on the other side. Hello, Amy. <laughs> So you guys remember we had a couple of these watermelon plants down here and I'm actually kind of surprised that it didn't fully die. Um, this soil over here is just terrible, but we have been doing the nutrients. Do you know what the brand is of the nutrients that you've been using? Fox Farm. Fox Farm. So it's actually, I have noticed a huge difference using nutrients. This is the first year that we've actually done it um, as much as we've done it and successfully. So. All right, and then this is the second row of watermelon. You see we've got some flowers starting here. These ones are doing, ooh, there's a wasp. Stay away from the wasp. Yeah. So you can see that these ones are doing so much better over here. Um, there's a little melon there. Is there? Oh, there is, he's tiny. He's a little guy. So hopefully we get some watermelons. I don't even remember what variety those were. I think we planted a couple different kinds. The yellow ones. Yellow ones? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yellow ones. Then we've got the squash over here are doing super well as well. This one over here I think is a zucchini that just ended up over here. Cause he's super dark compared to everybody else. But we've got some squash on this side. We actually just picked some this morning. So we've got some coming off now and the freeze dryer is going to be getting a load today of squash, zucchini, and peppers because we are pretty much overflowed on all of that at the moment. A lot is coming off and I'm gonna show you here in a second some other exciting news that we've got that is getting ready to become a huge project. <laughs> Over here we've got our random 
butternut squash that we didn't plant, but it came up by itself. So we decided to just roll with it and let it go. Um, so this is plant one. Actually, two of them came up. And I'm glad we kind of separated them out because we didn't really know what it was. But now we do. <laughs> it's kind of taken over. <laughs> it's big. Yeah. Then we've got our cucumbers. Remember, I only planted a couple of cucumbers because I am still working on cucumbers from like two or three years ago that are in our pantry. So we've got, there's one that needs to be picked today. We've gotten quite a few cucumbers already this season. Um, I've been eating them. There's another one that needs picked. Um, Colin's been eating them, so they are getting eaten. Um, I think I've only freeze dried one or two of them, which were just gonna go bad if we didn't. So that is the, the awesome part about having a freeze dryer is um, as everything starts coming off and we become overwhelmed, we can just put stuff in there. See, we've got some peppers. This plant is terrible looking. Please note, this plant has some sort of fungus issue going on with it. Um, but it's still producing and so we left it. I was gonna pull it, but he is still going. So we've got that and then we've got some banana peppers. Yep, there's a couple. I picked a bunch of them the other day. So we've got some banana peppers too. Um, those have been going in the freeze dryer as well. This I wanna say is a sweet pepper and that one is looking really good or one of the Chinese, I think it, it might be one of the five Chinese peppers. I don't remember. Luke's banana trees that came back up. And then we've got the tomato kingdom we will call it tomato garden okay um so if you guys watch the other videos you know that i planted a ton of tomatoes thinking that not all of them would survive and all of them pretty much did survive so <laughs> we have lots of tomatoes we have lots of projects going on with them and i will show you what i was talking about at the very beginning we have our first one turning. So this is actually a pink, I wanna say it's Ozark, is how you say that, pink Ozark, and they are a paste tomato. So we will be using those for pizza sauces, tomato sauces, things like that. Um, so I am super excited. We are about to have a ton of tomatoes. Um, the small spoon tomatoes we've been getting some of those every day um, for about two weeks now. So those you can see down there, there are some that are turning and we have been harvesting those and the kids have been eating them and I've been eating them in salads. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. As you can see, everything is going, it's looking great. Um, if you watched the short the other day, you saw that we got some kind bees. Okay, and I'm gonna see if they are out at the moment so what it is is it's a little kit and they are leaf cutter bees so they don't make honey for you to eat um, they are leaf cutter bees and they just go around and they help pollinate your garden and they are super docile um, so they don't sting or anything which I thought was going to be awesome for in the garden I will show you really quickly oh and also I've got some green beans that are coming. That's on that bush. So these are Blue Lake green beans. My comfrey is looking good. That one's looking a little oof. So we'll have to help him out. The eggplants, we got some eggplant going. If you've never grown eggplant, it's super cool because the leaves are like velvety. Yeah, so he's the big one. None on that one. So there's two on this one. I can't wait for eggplant. Okay, and then back to what I was originally saying. So the kind bees come in a little kit and they've got their own little house. And then once you see one or two start hatching, then you put them up into the top part of the little loft. And then they start all hatching and pollinating your garden for you. So let's go see if we can point out a couple. They are tiny but we did see some of them out here 
this morning. So if I can't find some now, I will put in that clip right here. Let's see. Yeah, so I don't see any out at the moment. They were all in the sunflowers. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that clip right here. So this is day two. We just put out the bees last night. And you can see a bunch of them hatch and then a bunch of them are out here pollinating. Highly recommend. They hatched a lot quicker than um, I thought they were going to, but that is a-okay because we were ready. So link will be down in the description box below where you can get your own kind bees. These guys are very docile, the leaf cutter bees, and they just go around and pollinate everything. So as you can see, those bees are out. They have hatched and they are doing their work. I will leave the link to the company um, down in the description box below for you guys to get your own kits. They are super easy and um, it's like perfect little project too for the kids to see the bees come out. And um, like I said, once a couple of them hatch, then you put them out and let them go in the garden. So it's also a really cool like summertime um, project as well for the kids. So this is the little cordless vacuum. Um, you charge it with the little cord and then it's a USB and um, you can either do it as a vacuum cleaner or you can reverse it and use it as like an air blower. There's a bunch of attachments that come with it. There's a little bag that comes with it. Um, so it's super handy to have. I'm also gonna clean my car with it because it's got like a little attachment that goes here that's like super tiny that I can get in between. But you guys know that we try not to use sprays, powders, chemicals, everything like that on our garden. We try to do as much of it as we can um, organically, naturally by getting um, beneficial bugs and things like that for the garden, things like the bees and um, we get ladybugs and praying mantis every year. So. I'm going to use this to suck up these Japanese beetles that are becoming a pain in the butt. Um, I'll show you the thing that we were using, but it's just, it's completely full now because there's so many Japanese beetles this year, it's ridiculous. So I did see one over here earlier. I wanted to see if I could suck somebody up. There's a bee. I don't want to suck him up. Let's go see if we can find some Japanese beetles to uh, suck up. <laughs> like I said, this is completely unconventional and I probably look like a crazy woman out here. All right, we need some Japanese beetles. Okay, so this was the little thing that we were using for the Japanese beetles. It is like a, a spesticide. Um, and you put the thing on the other side of the bag. I don't know if you can see it. And you can see that bag is so full and there's things in it right now. And it is, that bag's only been up for like two weeks. And the amount of beetles this year is just insanity. I don't think we've ever had this many. Okay. There's always beetles over here. So... Let's see, I don't want to suck up a wasp because I don't really want to be stung. Ugh. There's a beetle, but he's by all the bees. Oh, you know what? Here's one right here. Maybe I need to turn it on higher. Let's see. There we go. There's some suction. All right. Let's see if we can get it. I don't want to get the bee. Get out of here, bee. Ooh, we got him. You see? All right. So... Like I said, that's super unconventional, but that's what I'm gonna do. Once the temperatures drop a little bit, these beetles come out like no other. Um, 
and we are gonna have some fun sucking up some bugs. <laughs> I don't know, I think I crack myself up sometimes, guys, because I come up with these weird, wacky ideas, but I will leave the link for this bad boy down in the description box below. Um, so if you need a bug sucker, a freeze dry um, tool to clean behind your freeze dryer, or just a mini cordless vacuum cleaner to clean your car or anything like that, um, highly recommend. Like I said, we were messing around with it earlier. I'm also gonna use it for my monkey cage. Um, so this bad boy's gonna get pretty dirty. Um, and it does, it does come with two different filters, so that is nice as well. Let me see if I can find another bug. Now I just kinda wanna suck bugs up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's garden update. Make sure you stay tuned. Later in the week, we will be doing some more meal in a jar recipe videos. I am finishing filming those. I hope you enjoyed the update. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.